Hello everyone, this is Nathan Chase Viewers. Today I will be talking about how you can convert these couplers into KD couplers, which are really high quality and I'll, it's pretty easy actually, but hard at the same time. The only problem you might say that they're easy at switching a screw or screwing or something, but that's why they're sometimes hard. I'm gonna show how easy it is to put them in because I've done it before many times. And you can do it on all your own stock, including Lifebikes and Tyco. So let's get started. Now, the best way to make these a whole lot easier, change the covers, you have to take the trucks off because it's really going to be extra hard to put these covers in. So all you got to do is you got to twist them like this. It's a little tricky, but makes a big difference. And then you gotta put it right through here, like this. And then put your coupler in without point without doing the same thing. All you gotta do is push it to a put it on the one side, like this, and then uh, push down and twist at the same time. And voila, you got one coupler in. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one, and then show you the end result. And that's how you change a coupler on one of these older freight cars that are usually cheap or stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's how you literally do that. And then the best part is you can use any rolling stock you like for that's modern or stuff like that. But now, as you can see, it works beautifully. And you can, like for example, take any rolling stock, doesn't really matter. The only problem is, is that life likes and stuff like and other manufacturers are old, maybe older or have high coupler problems which might uncouple but so far this is a brand new freight car and this is really older stuff and as you can see it works beautifully so that's how you change a coupler on one of your older stock rolling stock or whatever so yeah anyway that's all i have for today's view and this is nice thing bye and have a very awesome day